In Creole Parametric, the Geometry Pattern command allows you to reduce the regeneration time necessary for a pattern. Let's take a look at how to use that. And first, I'm going to do a regular pattern to show you how it can be slower to regenerate. I have a part here, which is basically an extrude with a sketch on it. Let me bring in a user-defined feature. I click on the user define feature command because I have a config option called pro group DIR pointing to a folder. Here are my predefined user defined features. And I'm just going to grab the first one over here. We have the insert user defined feature dialog box. It's set to advanced reference configuration in order to locate the features in the model. Let's click the OK button gives me a little warning about my units are different in the UDF compared to the part that I am working on. Let's click the OK button. And for the user defined feature, it's going to locate it with a coordinate system, an on surface coordinate system. So let's pick the surface that I want to locate the feature on. We have the drag handles that we could use to grab the offset references, or I can hold down the right mouse button to activate the offset references collector. And let me get this surface over here and hold down the control key and get this surface over there. Oops, accidentally got an edge first. Let me right click on that reference and remove it. I prefer to grab surfaces because they are more stable. And let me just make sure that the surface highlights. That is good. Let me change my offset dimensions to five and five. And I'm happy, tells me that the regeneration succeeded. Let's hit the check mark. And this group actually brings in a coordinate system, some datum planes, looks like, I don't know, uh, an extrude, some draft, a pattern, and a hole. So there's a lot of geometry in here, a lot of different features. So if I want to pattern this group, I can click on it, and from the mini toolbar, choose the pattern command. Here are all the different dimensions associated with the group. Let me hold down the right mouse button in order to get to my mini toolbar in order to change to the curve option. You can also do that from the pattern type drop down list to select curve, but I recommend use your right mouse button wherever you can. And I'll click on curve, select my reference curve. Let's change the spacing here. I want to get a bunch of different instances. And I'm happy with the preview. Let me hit the check mark or middle mouse button. And you can see it's quite a number of features are regenerating. You can see it count down over there. And it's taking quite a few seconds. So again, this is what happens with patterns uh, because it's regenerating all the different features. So let's say that you're working on this part. Every time it regenerates, you're going to have that delay. Let me right click on the pattern to get to the edit definition command from the mini toolbar. One way that you can speed it up is by changing the pattern regeneration option. By default, it's set to general. Oh, in this case here, it's not even allowing me to change to identical. So I am stuck with this slow regeneration in my model. Let's cancel out of here. And I'm going to get rid of the pattern. I can right click on it and from the asynchronous menu as they call it I can choose delete pattern and that'll get rid of all the instances and leave my original feature intact so because of this slow regeneration that you can get with complex geometry there was an old technique back in the day that people would use and just to give you a little brief explanation and what not a lot of not a lot of people knew about this but I'm going to select a bunch of surfaces here I'll start off by selecting a seed surface then if I hold down the shift key I can select the surface of the extrude and that's a selection method called seed and boundary it's an advanced selection technique so I've grabbed all the surfaces associated with this user defined feature that I brought in and the way that this old technique worked is that you would use a technique called a surface transform so the 
command was called surface transform it's not in the software anymore but these days if you wanted to replicate it you could do a copy and then do a paste or a paste special and then you could locate one instance and then you would have a copy of the surfaces then you would pattern the surfaces which would take less time to regenerate and then you do a solidify so it was a, a bunch of different steps not everyone knew how to do it so they simplified it by creating it as a command in Creo parametric and that is the geometry pattern command so i've got all these different surfaces selected if i go to the pattern overflow menu here is the geometry pattern command one thing i want to mention i'm going to deselect everything real quick by default pattern is grayed out because this is one of those commands called object action workflow in other words you have to have something selected first before you can execute the command which is common for most of the commands in the editing group there are some that are available right from the beginning but again you'll notice that most of them are grayed out until you have something selected so once again let's select surfaces surfaces are going to be the input to the geometry pattern command let's select one surface over here hold down the shift key pick the surface of the extrude in order to grab all that geometry now i'm going to go to the pattern overflow and select geometry pattern then i have the ribbon the tab for creating the pattern which is pretty much the same as doing a regular pattern if you go to the drop down list you can see all the different types that you have available to you you'll notice that dimension is not available because it is patterning the geometry it's not patterning the features like with the standard pattern command and like before let me collapse this i can hold down the right mouse button and from the mini toolbar i can choose the curve command when i did the previous pattern that sketch automatically got hidden let me select it out of the model tree and like before let's change the spacing so I get a bunch of different instances. And when I hit the check mark, it's not going to be lightning fast, but it will be faster. Let's hit the check mark. And you'll notice that, okay, so there it was. It was actually only regenerating. I think it said 42 in there. Oh, it looks like it's hung up a little bit. Come on, finish those five. So it was a faster regeneration. If you take a look in the model tree, here we have the pattern of copy geometry. So it did a copy geometry feature of these different instances in the model. So that is a way of getting a faster pattern using the geometry pattern instead of the standard feature pattern. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.